here we are in Cinema 4D and the first thing I'm gonna do is make a cube and size 26 and I'm gonna pick fillet with radio 1 and subdivision 10 to make some smooth borders as you can see right here and then I'm gonna go to MoGraph cloner object and change the mode to grid and drop that cube into the cloner object and I'm gonna change some values the count maybe 5 and the size to 100 I'm gonna hit render to see how this cube looks like and uh, our next step is add a random effector and I'm gonna change the position to 500 and the rotation and then we need to animate the fall off so I'm gonna make a keyframe and go to frame 60 and add a keyframe and now if we hit play we can see our animation now we need to group all these elements so I'm gonna make a null object name this cube and drop all the elements so now we can rotate the cube so I'm gonna put a keyframe rotate 45 degrees and put another keyframe and now if we hit play we can see our animation I'm gonna change the camera angle to front and let's see how that looks like now it's time to add some lights so I'm gonna pick a new light move to the left and change the type to area change the color to soft pink and the shadows to area I'm gonna duplicate that light and move to the right and rotate and change color to a light blue now we need to change some render settings so I'm gonna add a global illumination with the gamma of 2.2 disable auto light and add a new sky we hit render to see how that looks like we can see that's a very good result now we need to texture the object so I'm gonna make a new material change the color to orange and uh, reflection with the Fresnel and let's see how does look like 
maybe some more specular drop that into the cloner object or the null object let's do a test render to see how this looks like and now it's time to add a new HDR material to the sky and we will see how this improve our render it, it will make it a lot better let's make a render preview And now if we hit render we can see we have a white background in our scene. So I think we are ready to render, so let's change some settings before render the complete animation and make some past production on After Effects. I'm gonna go to render settings in output I'm gonna choose HD frame 1 to 17 we select the path to save and make a new folder with alpha channel or maybe not anti aliasing to best and I think we are ready let's check yeah we hit render and the animation starts to render once it's finished we can import that to After Effects and make final changes <laughs> 